Hey everyone, this is Ultra Runner. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a quick vid and just go over the uh, top five SH art, uh, SH figure arts, Captain America figures. Um, I do have two that I don't have included in here, and one is just um, the clean version of the end game, and then the other one is going to be Civil War, which if you've seen a Civil War figure, you kind of know why I wouldn't even make the list. And then the clean version of the end game essentially didn't have any accessories with it so um we're going to jump into it and they really my favorite is based on um what they came with what they look like what they represent um and stuff like that so I'm just going to jump right into it here so you can see here from left to right we have captain america endgame final battle edition we have the captain america age of ultron we have the captain america cap versus cap um, on here, we have the Captain America um, Avengers Assemble Edition, and then on the far right, we have the Captain America from Infinity War. So, I'll start off with my least favorite, or I guess my number five out of the group, because Cap is my favorite superhero um, of all time. And you guys, I've had mentioned this before, Boba Fett's my favorite fictional character of all time. So I kind of have a desk set up now that's got a little area for Cap, a area for Boba. I don't want to call them shrines, but a little area where I kind of uh, showcase those guys, which I'll actually put up in the video, probably as a short later. Um, but we're going to start with uh, probably number five. It's going to be, let me zoom in here a bit. It's going to be the Infinity Wars, uh, Captain America. Um, main reason with this one here, I love the look of him, but he had a really weird face sculpt. And if you look in here closely, that is not Chris Evans. So for me, what I did was, um, the great thing about getting all these caps is a lot of times they come with extra accessories and parts. And so this is actually the clean, the dirty shield from the in game cap. So the in game cap comes with a broken shield and he comes with a complete it, you know a whole shield before Thanos breaks it so I just basically gave this to him and he looks down at it and just kind of like like he's lamenting about him being Captain America and it's really cool because it's a good look for him and with his head down um you know uh, with at the right angle especially where he sits on my desk you can't even tell us you know that the face sculpt was that bad so and this Captain America came with nothing he didn't come with the Wakanda shields like the Mayfix version he only came with hands and then um uh, a staff and that was it and it was like literally it's kind of pointless so um for my number four my number four is going to be the avengers assemble cap now this one is super cool because it's this is they redid this figure um to release it um as avengers assemble even though they already had the original avengers version of cap but um, the articulation is much better. The suit's much better. Um, tons of hands. Uh, come with an MS face sculpt. Um, it was just a, um, a great piece across the board. I mean, I love, love this one a lot. I uh, love the dirty version of the suit, so it was not quite as clean. You know, the dirty shield. And he's got the single finger point, in which I have him kind of standing in the Hulk smash pose. And then he also has the two fingers where he's pointing as far as like when he's in the movie when he's giving out directions. So um, just a great one. Love him to death. Like super cool figure. Um, my number three is Endgame Cap. Now, I don't have the clean version, like I said, because uh, like I said, I just I didn't really care about him. Like, and a lot, of, a lot of people don't like the paint apps on this one here, but... I'm a big fan of how, you know, kind of grungy it looks like. It's like a bad wash on it, but I mean, honestly, he was being thrown around dust. I mean, like, what do you expect? So I was a big fan of this one here. And SH figure arts, you know, posability, um, the whole nine is this is their, it was their latest version. So he just, he was just pretty phenomenal. And I think this nailed everything about him. And I say, again, in game cap is definitely a very, very strong figure. Um, and again, it's one of my all time favorites. So that's my number three. Uh, number two, number two is going to be, this is the cap versus cap edition. And I'm just saying this, like I wasn't a fan of the clean suit 
version of in-game cap, but the clean suit version of um, cap from you know Avengers Endgame when he went back and you know went back in time. Man, this was just so clean. I mean, that shield, his suit, you know, and of course it's really the exact same thing. If you look at them side by side of the cap versus cap, it's the exact same body. And he even he even comes with a um, head sculpt. Um, that um, so like you, when you see them side by side, I mean, you know, this is really the exact same figure. Just with like say some weathering and stuff like that, but the clean version, I just really really dug. Um, so yeah, that is my number two, and number one. No, like I probably won't believe this, but believe it or not, it is this quirky built. Um, Age of Ultron um, cap. I mean, first of all, this is probably my favorite uh, Avengers movie. So, you know, you know, don't at me. But and this one, I'm actually using the um, the unmasked head from the Final Battle Edition because this one came with a head sculpt with a mask on. It just wasn't really that great. But I think it looks really good on here. Yes, it's not the greatest, but in the right pose, it is definitely Chris Evans. And I really like the proportion of this suit. And it's honestly my favorite suit. I really, really like the suit for this particular movie. I'm not a big fan of red, but the red accents were just good enough to make this suit pop. And really, between it and this over ward, it just added kind of the little pops of red here and there. And um, it's got funny articulation with the shoulders. And it was one of those weird releases for... Um, um, as a figure artist, they really just got enough, uh, the MCU, but but I love the suit. Like I said, I love the figure. I keep him posed up where he's throwing about the Dory shield, and you know, um, it's it's amazing. Like I said, it's super cool. So um, again, just want to do a just a quick one. You know, of course, I got Hot Toys cap in the back. You know, that suit again. You know, no matter what you think about the show, you know, and how you feel about Cap being replaced. They crushed it with you know that that design of that suit for, um, for Cap, you know for Falcon, Captain America. So, you know, big big huge fan of that. And you know uh, these SH figure arts, Captain Americas are great. And if you are looking to do um, any type of action figure, you know definitely take out check out SH figure arts. They have some pretty amazing stuff. I do have some Mayfix units coming, um, some new are being released. So. You know, hopefully we'll see those sooner than later. Mayfix is known for delays, but, you know, again, uh, thanks for you guys checking out. You know, comment below if you had any questions. And, of course, go check out my video um, for the uh, Mandalorian uh, Glavis Green World giveaway uh, when we have our subscribers. And we'll be giving that away to anybody uh, that comments, likes, and subscribe to the channel. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Later.